no good to say. Me neither. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kieran Barber. This is Reese, hey, the down, boys. owner of this 1991 VN Commodore. We're going to use these products to clean her up. We're actually going to do the whole um, the whole car, including the interior, the engine bay. Um, it's going to be a great transformation. Let's go. The first step, we're going to give the car a rinse. Uh, just wet it down with a hose and then we're going to wash it with dish soap. You're probably wondering why we're going to use dish soap to wash a car, why not car wash? We're going to use dish soap to completely remove any remnants of whatever's on this paint. So we don't want to leave any old wax, polish, um, paint protection, anything that might have been put on before resewing the car so that we can do a proper proper paint correction on the car. I'm gonna strip it right back to its bare bones. Nah, Karen, it's not clean yet, I don't think. I think it needs some more correction. Just spray and pray, Reese. Spray and pray. <laughs> Isn't that what they do on Call of Duty? <laughs> Mate, this car is filthy. I know. It lived outside for too long. Yeah, is that meant to be coming off? I think we should take it off. <laughs> That is going to make it 10 times easier. They look like they've been put in with a grinder. I may, maybe someone's had a drama with this before. We're going to take this thing off because as you can see, the amount of crap behind it. Incredible. Oh. Look, look at that.
we just got a bit of super cheap auto brand wheel cleaner. You've probably just watched me slow-mo apply this. Um, the directions basically say just to let it sit for one to three minutes. So we're gonna whack a bit of that on and see how it turns out. Oh wow, look at my truck came off that. The wheel? Yeah, like it was just like the black running off the wheel. Yeah, nice. I'll get a good shot on the other side. I'll just record yeah, it yeah. at the moment, but I'll get a good shot on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, look at the colour that will come onto it. Oh, that one's not too bad. Both front brakes work harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I decided to reapply it and um, hit it with a brush, give it a bit of agitation. And look how much extra has just come off of that. That's unreal. gives you a real good shot of all the contaminants and the old faded clear coat on this bonnet. You can feel it with your fingers. We just finished up washing the car and we just washed it with some dish soap like, like we were discussing earlier. And it's revealed the true state of this paint where we've got essentially every surface of the car is completely oxidized. The top layer is um, in pretty poor condition. And so what we want to do is expose the good paint underneath it. So that's what all these steps are going to be doing. And at the end, man, this thing is going to shine. It's going to look awesome. <laughs> What's that? This is a clay bar. Literally a bit of clay and it like sucks up um, dirt, contaminants, and stuff. So we've already washed it, so this is just like removing um, kind of like the top. So take a look at that stuff on the ground. Yes, some of it is suds, but you can see it's like kind of milky colored. That's all the paint, all the top layer of that dirty oxidized paint dripping down on the, on the floor. Man, I reckon this thing's gonna pop. This, the paint, that's underneath from what we've seen. It's been garaged. Reese was saying he got it off his grandma. It's been garaged pretty much its whole life. And yes, it looked absolutely filthy when we started, but after doing all these processes to it, taking our time, this will take us a full day just to do the outside, just to do the paint. I think it's gonna come up mint and I can't wait. I can't wait to see the finished product because it's, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit rough, but the paint that's there is, is in good nick. It's not 
completely shagged and we're going to be able to restore it to to really good condition here's a good shot of the contaminants that are on the paint you can see this has been touch washed so we've we've washed it with um, the microfiber wash cloth all this stuff in here is still there actually on the paint is still still dirt and crap sitting there this this is after it's been clay barred still got to wash it off still got to tidy it up a bit and it's still got to be polished after this but man what a difference don't forget to clay bar your windows when you're doing this your windows will benefit the, the actually the glass in your whole car will benefit the same as your paint will from using a clay bar so fold it over see this one's a bit dirty fold it over get a nice new edge and then do the windows See here, excuse that black bit. But you can see here that was a nice fresh side of the clay bar, and you can see the contamination that it's pulled off, just pulled off that window. So the car's been clay barred, dried off, and this is the finish that it's come up with. You can see still heaps of contamination, heaps of uneven paintwork. Next step, polishing. show you um, all the panels but man it's it's not absolutely perfect but it is 90% better than what it was um, the finish that you can get from one day's worth of work and I don't know maybe this part maybe a hundred bucks worth of stuff from super cheap is absolutely outrageous um, it has done this car a world of good. Um, like I said, we, we, we could have gone, we could have gone even further and made it even more perfect. But I think for what we've done, for the effort that we put in, fa absolutely fantastic result. I can't wait to show, you, to, to see the difference between the before and after shots, man. It's gonna be mind blowing.
We'll just do a quick walk around of the car. You'll see on the bonnet here, we weren't able to completely get all the little marks out. Although it does look pretty good from here. <laughs> you can't really see the marks I'm talking about. See that? Probably needs a paint or something, but overall does not detract from the look of the car. Didn't get a chance to do a proper sign off on the day, so recording this instead. Um, there were a bunch of videos, um, YouTube videos that really inspired me to create this, this video that you've just watched. So I'm gonna leave the links to those in the description, um, just so that you guys can see what a good job looks like. Um, we did okay, but these guys really, really nail it. And I definitely recommend checking out those videos if you've got the time. I'll leave the links in the description. We got heaps more videos coming up. Um, but what I really want to know is for you, for you that's watching is what kind of videos do you want to see? What do you like and what don't you like about the video that you just watched? Next up, we got the interior and the engine bay videos so stick around for those they'll be in uh, later uh, episodes um, for you to watch finally i've started a facebook group called motor mount it's a place where a bunch of like-minded guys can get together share ideas talk about their car builds share tips and tricks um, talk about stuff for, for support and that sort of thing. I, I know there's, uh, it, it definitely helps to be able to talk to other guys because you know everyone's got stuff going on. Um, we're also gonna release some podcasts through the Facebook group, but also on YouTube and um, a podcasting um, service as well of, um, I'll be interviewing some high profile guests um, in the car community so mainly in the Australian uh, car community um, just to really get into and see what makes them tick um, I'm sure they would agree that a lot of these super successful guys are actually normal guys under the skin and Anyway, it's it's going to be really interesting, and I hope that um, I hope that you guys can join me for that. If you're watching this video, it might be something that you're all interested in. I'll leave the link for that in the description as well. It'll be facebook.com/motormount. Um, got a few little stickers made, but um, that's the logo there that that you want to look for. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys, and um, if you like the video, let us know and and let us know what you'd like to see more of. Thanks.